Welcome back to Exploring Persona 3 Fans for the introduction of Food Team. Yes. It's like spoilers, she's gonna join the team, Claire. <laughs> Relax, there's no need to be nervous. Why don't you have a seat? Everyone, you did an excellent job uncovering the truth. Now, oh, man, can you imagine how shady this would look like if everyone else was here? It's just Shuji and Fuka. Like, oh god, is this like one of those messed up casting couch things? I also wanted to let you know, the three girls have all regained consciousness. What a relief! From what I understand, they each came to school around midnight and waited for the security guard to leave. They were attacked by shadows near the gate as the dark hour began. However, the facts became twisted because of rumors concerning a ghost story. I knew right from the beginning that it wasn't a ghost. Now you were pretty scared by it. It's all my fault. Are you kidding? You were the victim. But I made so many people worry. Hey, don't think like that. We could have lost that fight if you weren't there. You saved our lives. You should feel good about yourself. You have a special power that you can use to help others. A special power? We call it Persona. You could be a tremendous help to us. Will you lend us your strength? Are you asking me to join you? Mitsuru Senpai? You know, we're not trying to pressure you, so if you need some time to think about it... I'll do it. I'll help you. Are you sure? If you join, you'll have to live here. That's fine. I'd rather live here than at home anyway. <laughs> Doesn't sound good the way she said that. We really appreciate this. Right. Maybe I'm thinking of a different story entirely. <laughs> but like, is that a reason why? No, I think I'm thinking of a different story. We'll have the school talk to your parents to resolve any issues. Thank you. I won't even say why. Wait it a is. minute. Aren't we dragging her into this a bit fast? In case it is because I'm thinking of, but I'm pretty sure I'm thinking of a different story. But you know, just on the off chance that that messed up twist ends up being from this game. It's like, so I don't end up explaining this, but I don't think that's what it is. Um, it's okay, really. Now then, those special shadows showed up again. We still don't know where they're coming from. But Akihiko is right about one thing. Their appearances seem to coincide with the full moon. We'll take that into consideration from now on. So they're kind of like werewolves then, huh? It's a big advantage for us to know when to expect them. Now, on the day of the fight, we'll be ready to get in the ring. You have discovered a pattern in the appearances of the special shadows. And it felt pretty damn obvious, really, didn't it? It's weird, you know, Persona has this kind of thing with the moon. Like the face of the moon. At least, to an extent. Persona 1 had it, but it didn't really contribute much to the actual gameplay or story or anything like that. But it does have some kind of pattern to it. Maybe it's a, uh, you know, uh, a leftover from, you know, because it's basically a spin-off of the Shin Megami Tensei games, you know, basically. You know, I wonder if they ever thought when they made, you know, Persona, could Atlas have even predicted how big the series would go compared to their mainline series? Because, you know, 
I don't know how successful the regular Shin Megami Tensei games are, but they definitely seem like they're more niche than Persona, and Persona's already kind of niche as well, but, you know, it feels like Persona 5 really kind of opened the gates a bit there, even though I prefer Persona 3 and 4 to 5, which is weird for me to say, because I've played Persona 5 more than I have the other ones, basically. Like, I only played this game once up till Let's Playing It. I played Persona 4 twice, once back in the day, and then back in the day when I Let's Played It. Still haven't got around to playing Golden. I've had that since I had my PS Vita years ago, I still haven't got around to playing it. Anyways, I wonder if this is what the boy was trying to tell you. Seems that you should start paying attention on those faces. I don't know, I feel like... It's like, Persona 5's not bad or anything. It's just... I don't know, something about it just never quite clicked. It's the uh, same way Persona 3 and 4 is. Maybe it was the protagonist. It's like I remember reading something about they regret giving the protagonist too much personality or something like that. I don't know. Because I mean, he doesn't really have much more personality. He has more than this Anyone could have more personality than this guy. Makoto's got like no personality whatsoever. But you know. It bugged me when I first played Persona 5 and you get that opening up scene you can see now. Just seeing him smugly jump out a window going, See ya! And have a smug ass look on his face. I was cheering for the freaking police to kick his ass. He's like, that's not how you should have protagonists. <laughs> he was like, yeah, you want to see them get their ass kicked right off the bat because these appear just too damn smug. It's like... Protagonists of the and Farop game don't have that. I mean, they do kind of look a bit psychotic when they get the persona, but that's pretty much always been the case. Well, not really. You know, I haven't played either of the Persona 2 games, but I have played Persona 1. You know, in that game, they didn't exactly have loads of cuts or anything like that. You know, went quite at that level. Yet. This was like the late 90s. It's crazy when you think about it, it's how far this series advanced in just a couple of years. And yet there's still no sign of Persona 6 from what I'm aware of. And Persona 5 came out years ago. Persona 5 came out when they were still making games for the PS3, for God's sake. Like, the more console generations pass, the longer the gap in between games. It's like, you know, grab a photo. Grab a photo 5. And then Grand Theft Auto 6, God knows how many years later, gets announced now. It's crazy. It takes a lot longer for these games to become a thing. Seems that there will be fewer June Brides this year. One who went to the number of June Brides is going to get three stages. One who's less popular with married couples in his 20s and 30s. Dude, she's the exact opposite of you, Tap. It's not nice. Hey, Mikoto, what do you think? <laughs> not bad, not good, that's all you think about. Not bad. Yeah, you got that right. There are some things about school that even I like. You girls. That's about the only thing you can have out there. People like Fuku is forced to join us. Even though in the end it was her choice. I feel good about this. She was, you know, treated with the classic thou must, with the illusion of choice, you know. I mean, she does bring up a point there, you know. She would clearly feel out obligated to desire us, you know. After we saved her ass and all that. So. We achieved new powers and then new information about the So they was a great day for us. Hmm. Oh, I asked Mitsuru and Nakahiko to walk through the home. Shouldn't be walking home. So it's Thursday, which means... It's just me or the, this glass in here. And also the fact that this year it makes it look like a bit of a restaurant or a cafe. Business. I mean, it kind of is really a cafe. Look at this. This is basically a bar. 
can ha I can imagine him having you know, the safe out here. So it's karaoke again, right? True base. Check. Thursdays. Here's karaoke. Oh yeah, I gotta pick up this thing. Well, your requests are complete. Thanks for waiting. I never seen them better. Let's make good use of this. You ever felt like that? You know. Wait, what am I doing? Wrong place. Come on, man, max it out already. Help it out. We need to work on charm apples. Yes, we're a badass! Yes! We're finally done with courage. At long last. We we managed to get that maxed out on your time. That's very good. Didn't she? No, it was she. Wait, no, I think she did call us as well the other day, didn't she? The other night or whatever. I can't remember. I know Chiro did. It's you, girl. You're busy right now. What's up? Are you free next Sunday? Let's go somewhere together. Yeah, Valkyrie, but no. I have all the plans. Oh, that's too bad. We'll maybe some other time. I think we are going to hang out with her on a Sunday at some point, just not for a long time. Yeah, I'm seeming disappointed. You know, I wonder if the uh, student council guy ever <laughs> invites us to hang out. I can't imagine it. It's like all the other, you know, uh, friends from school, but not him. He just doesn't seem like the type to hang out on a Sunday inside the study. Demix. So, um, I guess now we switch to the charm schedule. <laughs> now that I think about it. Which I also wrote down because, you know, in case I had maxed out courage, which I did. Morning. Hey, Makotaku, what do you think about food? Hmm. I don't know. I feel like any of these responses is probably going to annoy her. Like, oh, it looks the enemy the man. He's like, helpful. That's what we do. Only cares about being useful. Think so? I mean, yeah, her sort of is a great one. It seemed kind of like she was forcing the joinings. But she'll be okay. I mean, she's taken over Mitsuru's role. She'll be fine. Hey, did you hear? Ikoda's in hot water. Ikoda? Oh wait, no, that's the uh, teacher. I got it mixed up with uh, whatever the guy's name of that nurse. Really? What do you do? I don't know, but it must be serious. Sexual harassment, maybe. How is he looking the uh, remake? Oh, I can totally see that. They don't have character models in uh, this version. Hey, look, it's the ghost girl. Quiet, she can hear you. Um, Fuka, you in here? Moriyama san? I heard you started living in the dorms. Yeah. So depressed. Well, let me know if you need someone to talk to. I mean, it's kind of understandable. She's clearly isolated from people here. You could probably use a friend, huh? 
So this is basically you can see what's going here. She went from her being in her bully to you know becoming a friend. Moriyama-san. Oh, come on. Just call me Natsuki. Guess that's her first name then. Thank you. Go to Sama. Are you free today? Because I. Uh, some help. I can't tell you. I'll tell you when you come to see questions of me. Please come if you can. Oh my gosh. You know, I didn't notice, you know, the line. It's like, oh my gosh. You got that ooh at the end. See, but you don't pronounce it. They always throw me off again. You know, you think about stuff like that, but think about the English language. It's like you don't really think about it. <laughs> it's like it's just your first language. You know, provided it's your first language English like mine, yeah. But you don't think about these things, man. You just speak. Well, you know, for anyone who's learning English, they're like, how the hell does this language work? So good. Like something happened to better. Maybe you should join that school. I think we are actually going to hang out in that school. Is it good enough? Ah, who gets teacher? I just saw him, man. Man, he looks like a world's bad air. Something happened. I mean, you know, he pulled that shit where, you know, he lied about Fuku's whereabouts and stuff like that. Man, these guys have nothing to say. And nothing new here either. Nobody's gonna comment on Fuku being back. That's Let's go back to town, maybe uh, golf go around there. She's bound to be there on certain days. She's not here today. <laughs> maybe it's a little later on. Because you can run into her, technically. Outside of the plots. I'm not sure, maybe you've gotta like get a cutscene of her introduction. It's like when these characters actually appear as part of the plot, you don't actually. I mean, we the player see them, but. Yeah, they're just the first time they appear. Um, stay. Good of summer. You are coming today, eh? Right? Seems like Bebe wants to talk to you. Hi, Castle. Thank you. Bebe seems happy. Well, he's not going to be happy for long, I can tell you that much. I can high school. I'm an economic man. You can tell them. Bebe, who's usually very short and surprised. I think we say... Yeah, are you alright? You can tell something is wrong. Baby seems surprised. Uh, last night, my dear aunt was taken away by the angels. Ooh, so it's um... Well, apparently we can say anything. We can be like, what? Calm down, what do you mean? Calm down, man. Explain to you. I will try. It is sad. Sorry, your men is high. She was the reason I was able to come to the time. And now she has been taken away. She had me so much and I could not do anything for her. I was holding this inside. Because I know that crying did not help. 
but seeing as he looked on your face because he's under hide, he seems devastated by his loss. Maybe he has confided in you. Okay, is that all we're gonna get out of that? See his voice leaving your head. I don't know, I'm now. Temperance. Is that the 14th Arcana then? On, based on the Roman numeral there? Which student social link reached level 4 without uh, its own temperance? Sorry, Gomene Sai, I can't put the game. Sorry now. So I'll go back to the dorm. Sup, dude? Again, Fugu's room ready on the third floor. No guys in the house. It's cool though, I'm just glad she's coming. You're tomorrow, you know. And Fugu's teacher, Mr. Dakota, got in a lot of trouble. Must have been because of the suicide by. Scary, huh? Man, where the power of Kira go? So when you carry on the first floor, get into the room anymore. Like waiting back, you know, just in the morning. Said they'd call us if they had any cockroaches. Going into the rainy season, we've got an unusual bit of so, What you're seeing is a prototype of an artificial rain center. A country like this, where water is becoming scarce. How often does it rain in Japan? I mean, that's kind of uh, a vague question. Really, Japan, you know, it's an island nation, outside, you know, Britain, where I'm from. Yeah, it rains a lot over here, but, you know, Japan, I'm pretty sure, is a bit more spread out, a bit bigger. Maybe, I'm not sure, actually. I'm pretty sure it is. But, you know, different, well, Say that, but no. Doesn't matter where you go in Britain, Holland, in general. Well, it's absolutely shite. When Japan, you know, because of its uh, position on the planet, you know, it's kind of uh, could have different climates going compared to you know the UK, where it's you know uh, on the northern hemisphere. And nowhere else, basically. So it's gotta be her room, man. The room is filthy, even though no one's living in there. Please don't let there be any cockroaches. And that's what happens, you know, when you don't clean a room. It doesn't matter if nobody's lived in it for ages, it's gonna be an ass. Apologize for not being able to get a tart, it's two days in a row. But preparing for Yamakishi's move is taking longer than I so that's that, so you can see the girls' rooms are on this floor. Males are not permitted. I mean, we can come up here, we just can't go into the rooms. Although I'm gonna prove you wrong right now. Which room is... yeah, this room is empty. Proving you wrong, Mitsuru, making you look like a fool. I'm in a room that I'm not allowed to hear. Final thing. Yeah, there is another... Girl that will be joining the party much later on. So I guess this is gonna be their room. It's like they've strategically made it so that there's enough rooms where there's basically room for everyone basically that will join the party at some point. Yeah, back to Japan. Back to Japan, what? <laughs> it's just like... The interesting thing about it is, you know... Loads of volcanoes, earthquakes and stuff because of their placement on the planet. Now they're on... What is it called? The fault line or whatever? Or maybe it's the Ring of Fire. Maybe it's both. It's like, they get all that kind of shit to worry about. In the UK, it's just basically rain. <laughs> so, our schedule has been changed now that we've maxed out courage. So, Friday, we have a cup of coffee. Oh. Oh, 
or not. Um, oh wait, it's the wrong building, that's why. Getting mixed up. I don't know, da blue or whatever the hell that sign says. Just made me think of coffee. This golden circle thing doesn't make me think of coffee. If anything, it makes me think of the freaking antique shop over there. Drink that coffee, fool. It's cheaper than playing horror games. I'm not sure if there are any... There might be, actually. Okay. Yeah, there is an arcade game for Charm. There's an arcade game for all sets. Now, they're probably looking at you because you got blue hair. Dead looking eyes, man. I think we gotta get him maxed out by sometime in the summer. I mean, it's technically already the summer here. No, this is the baby. Do you have a minute? What's up? I have nothing to do Sunday. Would you like to do something with me? Sorry, baby. I know your aunt has passed and all that, and you know, you really want a friend and this, you know, time, but I uh, got out plans. Oh, is that is too bad. Maybe some other time. Maybe I hung up. He seemed disappointed. You know, there's like no continuity there, you know. We ha if we hang out with him on a Sunday, no reference to, uh, you know, his aunt or anything. We decided to study. At least I don't think so, anyway. In the midnight hour, I'm always going to notice that every time the dark hour like You've prevailed yet again. But it's funny. Is that a... I mean, his head is blocking the way now, but... Was that, a, you know, a comically old-fashioned block on the... behind the headboard of his bed? It doesn't seem so certain, considering the vast potential within you. As a matter of fact, your power seems to have changed quite a bit. Hey, if you don't mind, can I be your friend? I'm very curious about you. Is that okay? If a creepy ghost boy showed up in your room every now and then, and then one night he's just like, can I be your friend? You'd be like, who the fuck are you? So your protagonist, he's too quiet. Well, I guess we do get to ask. Sure, what's the name? Name? I don't think he even knows his own name. Oh, I see. I need a name. My name is Pharos. You may call me that if you wish. Ah, I know I'm a serious voice when he's in your hands. Has this social link been established for us? Thou shalt have our blessing and thou see the great son of the fuck out. I can't remember. Oh yeah, it's a new one. You establish a new social. It's getting late, so I'll go now. I'm already looking forward to our next meeting. Oh, is that why? Well, I, no, there'd be other reasons for it, but you know. Number 13 is seen as an unlucky number. It's also the 13th Arcana, which is death. It's like, you know, the superstitions around the number 4 in, you know, Japan. And I think China also has it as well, maybe some other East Asian countries. Because, you know, that number sounds like the word for death. The weird thing is, right, you know, Japanese, you got Yon as, you yeah, know, that's 4. But it can also be said as she, which is death as well. It's basically, it's that same, you know, she, basically. So, I assume that's where the origins of that superstition for, you know, not having a fourth floor and stuff like that comes into play.
Now how about this, right? A building in Japan that has ground floor, second floor, a third floor. Okay? You don't have the number four playing over. Play. What if it also has a basement? If you look at it from the basement upwards, the last floor is the fourth floor. It's like, oh no! Good morning. I'm because you will be living in the darkness. I forgot that last name's Yuki. <laughs> because not many characters refer to her in by his last name. I guess Mitsuru is kind of a bit more formal. Namagishi will be living in dorms, and starting tonight she'll be providing us with support feedback. So now I can rejoin the front line. But you're unreliable! Wait, you're alive. But you're unreliable! Yes, you can depend on me. Even though I'm a bit out of practice, I will soon return to my prior form. She uses swords, if I recall. I mean, there are different types of swords. I think she uses long swords, or whatever they be called. Maybe short swords, actually. I can't remember. Basically the opposite of the giant swords that Junpei guy ran. Is he I there won't be a full moon for a while, but still. I kind of don't think about it. What are we doing today? It's Saturday. We're hanging out with Shihiro. Let's see if anyone's got any dialogue for us. Uh, you know, I heard. Of course you would have heard. Any man who happens to get Mitsu Senpai would have to be as intelligent as he is. Oh yeah. I'm gonna do this every single day until I eventually meet her. I probably won't. Because I'll probably forget. She's probably not there. Yes, yeah, these couple, they're hogging up the bench. They won't piss off. No, it's funny, we still, you know, had that social with Maiko, that little girl at the shrine. But we haven't actually established the social yet. But yeah, we'll hang out with you, maybe two, three months from now. And we still got the Hierophant, you know? All that, we haven't hung out with him ages at this point. I would have already maxed it out if not for the fact that I'm following the walk because it's probably impossible to max everything out in this game if you're not doing things in a very specific order. And I don't even think I'll be able to max them all out in this playthrough. That's why you know that uh, New Game Plus save file might come into play for that. Oh, Makunasan, are you on your way home? Um, would you like some company? Me and Black Shiro wants to walk home. Now let me just double check. Um, yes, then let's uh, go somewhere for a while. Who seems happy? <laughs> Speaking of the devil, he was like, Oh, yeah, we haven't seen them in ages, but they're in the background. You're attacking He's like, Hey, Makoto, long time no see. How is that tree thing come back? <laughs> what did I say? Oh, the flame is you can see her inside the other shop. It's our breaks during the days are so short I just read since there's not enough time for us to see each other. All the books on this shelf are only 100 yen each, so I can hold them with my allowance. Here is looking at the books on the shelf. Well, we get going, I don't see anything that easy. Hmm. Oh my, this is. I've been dying to read this. This is a collection of illustrations from the Shoujo manga I read. It even has short stories inside. So, from what I am getting here, uh, what's it called again? You are Shonen and Shoujo. 
Shoujo is manga more directly than girls, and shonen more directly than boys. So you got like different ones. I guess Shoujo is definitely, you know, female protagonist, more female, more romance driven. Never expected this to be here. Maybe the shop owner made a mistake. Have all three volumes, this is amazing. You know, in Japan, you know, maybe some manga would be harder to find than others, but you know, you have an easier time finding manga in general. In the West, hell, just even like a physical copy of anime. Like, Jesus Christ, man, where do you even get this shit? It's like nobody sells it. Like the only manga I've got is maybe, I think, I don't even know where they've gone, but the first few volumes of Bleach and the complete collection of Death Mode, that's about it. Don't have any other manga than that. The whole three volumes, it's amazing. Following me 6,000 yen, so that means 18,000 to yen total. Well, what should I do? Um, let me ch consult the guide. Um, is it good? Of course, all three volumes are great. Here seems like it's having fun. Because it looks so real, like they really exist, because we're living in an anime world where the anime characters actually look realistic to us because we're anime. Doesn't apply in the real world. Right lunch allowance is 5,000 yen, even if I use my lunch money. I'll get them no matter what. By next month, wait, by the time I graduate, I've got to hide them but no one will see them. You still get bought by someone else. Who leaves that rubbish there every day <laughs> on that bench? You and I sit now in front of the lounge. I had a bigger allowance, but I also don't want to be a burden on my mother. Let me guess, we're gonna have a contrast here. I saw that you were looking at that female employee. Uh, sorry, forgive me, I'll do anything you want, anything. I'm going to freak up with you if you don't find me that bag I was talking about before. What a bitch. I thought money can buy happiness. Until recently. I think we say, what do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean? Oh, don't worry, I was just talking myself. You're seeming to me, but I sort of understand how he feels. That man he doesn't have any self confidence, so he tries to compensate with his money. But I can understand how he must feel trying to hold on to something no matter what the cost. You're seeming to be bad. Let us just run. My memories of this are vague, because I vaguely remember this scene, so maybe I did make it this far. So, so this voice rings in your hand. You know, if you hear a mysterious voice in your head saying, Die on, I'm thou on, I am, I am thou. And it's not you, like, consciously thinking that. You should probably get them checked out. <laughs> I'm sure I'm a blessing when that seems a great son of just... Which those wings read level 6? I have a great sense of just one of them. Relationship with your own intensifies. It's like there are so many things in this world I can't afford. Shall we go? If I stay here, I know I want to go back to the book store and look at that illustration question. I need a tag that's gonna easily afford it. It is not. You know, ran away. In dark, you just gotta go back to the door. Or you were walking home together, you just gotta leave with it. Let me guess. Yeah, you're going to notify me that the blockage in part of this is clear. Your foot itself on his own. Hello, this is Elizabeth. I'm calling to inform you of the change in Tartus. I believe the path that was blocked is now open. I thought you would like to know. I wish you a safe journey. 
thing called Zinnitz. How she even calls anyway? Hi, how was your day? And since I'll be substituting for Mitsuru Senpai from now on, just tell me if you want to go to Tartus. I'll do my best. Looks like we're going to Tartus tonight. Hi, I'm Trish with today's installment of Who's Who? Will we get into this? Will I be able to recognize them by description? Probably not, because I can't even remember the names or off the Today's subject is a man in his pretty with sunglasses and long hair that features to his back. When I asked what he did for a living, he became upset. Hmm, why might that be? Next is news, ping, ping, go away. Hmm. I'm not sure. Because it could be a Persona 2 character. Not a Persona 1 character. There was one character in Persona 1 that had long hair. But I don't think it's him because he had a scar. And I think that would be brought up by the DMC movie. So maybe it's a character from Persona 2. I'll really allow the image on the screen and all that to be whatever. If it's a Persona 2 character, then I wouldn't have a clue. Luca wasn't supposed to come here until Sunday afternoon, which really one of the joints. Glad she wants to be part of the team. I'm looking forward to the next mission. I guess all that talk about Luca being sick wasn't true. First people were saying that she was absent because she was being drunk. And then they started saying she was really sick. Same chance, she seems pretty healthy. Though. Well, if Luca's teacher, Mr. Akoda, got him a lot of trouble. Must have been because of Mitsuru Senpai. Scary, huh? He worked better with Yuriju, I already told you this yesterday. Oh, Mr. Okoda's punishments. Well, there are some things in life you don't want to know. This is one of them. I... I can't even comprehend what he did to that man. <laughs> How can I help you? Um, it's nice to see you again. They say I uh, said I could move in on Sunday. Decided to come a little early. Wanted to uh, begin helping you all as soon as possible. But I didn't even have time to pack, so I don't have any. Let me check my schedule here. Yeah, we can go to Tartarus. Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. If we must. I noticed that the only days it doesn't uh, have for the exceptions are Monday and Thursdays, which are arcade games. Maybe they give you a better boost, I don't know. Everyone's okay today. Would you like to know how the others are? Good. Great. Good. 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 I don't see how Fuka would ever get across. She doesn't actually fight anyone. Level 18. That is so way ahead of us. Okay, I'll tell the others. We're waiting for that Tadras around midnight. See that. We won't really go into Tartarus now, uh, we'll save that for the next part. This will be the next record session. Whenever that is. From now on, Yamagishi will support us, and I'll take part in the exploration. I've also decided that I'll allow you to select the members of your battle party. I realize that this is a bit. a uh, big responsibility, but I believe you can handle this. You can organize and equip your party by talking to allies before you begin exploring. Um, I'll be taking Mitsuru Senpai's place for now. So, Junpei. Welcome to the team. Kari. Welcome to the team. It's Toots. I won't let you down. Akiko, you're on standby this time. Hold you from here now. Is there anything I can do? We've explored 40 levels in this tower. Try to explore as much of Tartarus as you can. 
So... Can't actually uh, equip from this menu, can we? Which is super annoying. I assume they've made it a lot more quality of life improvements in the way where you can probably equip whatever to anyone at any given time. I just want to see uh, the stats on the sword. 64. Oh wait, actually no, it's a... Uh, it's a big sword. Maybe. No, it isn't actually. These are the big swords. Kind of got a bit confused there. I mean, you know, if uh, Mitsuru has a better weapon, then I guess I'd equip it. We'll just have to see in the next part. If I remember to. So that'll do. See you next time, viewers. See you next time.